Okay, guys, welcome to another GDTV production. I'm Lana, and we're here at the Central Greenough Historic Settlement tonight. Now, we're here with Australia's ghost whisperer, Anthony Griselka, and we're here for a ghost tour. Now, I look quite excited right now, but I'm actually really, really scared. So, let's go get into it and see what we, can, what sort of contact we can get with some spirits and ghosts. Hi. So what I do is generally sometimes I'll separate the group. I'll take two or three people into one room and give them an experience just with me and the three people. And I'll, I'll show you stuff on the IR camera where you can see orbs around people and all sorts of things. All right, here we go. I'm actually really scared, but it's gonna be okay. We're in safe hands. Okay, so Anthony, we've just been out on the ghost tour. Yeah. Now we went to we went to a church. We went to what else did we go to? Well, we went to a schoolhouse. Um, then there's an old barn at the back, of course, in the well area. Yes. And then, uh, of course, we went into the infamous cells, um, the, the jail area, which is quite active and quite intense, as you saw um, tonight. <laughs> Actually, had to get people out because it became a little bit too intense. Yes, so we went, so those cells, they were where they kept Aboriginals, is that correct? Well, I mean, everybody else as well, of course it would have been the main area for that, but um, there just happens to be in that area quite a lot of that type of energy, because in all of the cells there would have been different people held. I think they, they used to hold them there on transit to Perth, you know, so lots of people came and went you know, from that area. Yeah, so we were in this one particular cell, which was the cell that was right down the back, and uh, quite a few people in there actually had some stones thrown at them. So it sort of seemed to be the thing to happen tonight where people were getting stones thrown at them. It's like that's their way of showing us that they're actually sort of there. Yeah, I mean, it does seem to happen. It, look, it, it's one of those things, I don't know why they do that, but we do get a little of that. And in the barn, of course, when we're in the barn, we got a bit of knocking on the wood there as well, and the timbers, which was interesting as well. So all different sorts of things will happen. People got touched, of course. Um, people got some extraordinary photos too um, of, of streaks of light and, and sort of, um, you know, orbs of light moving around. So that was really interesting as well, so. I'm not gonna lie, I did have some weird things happen to myself as well. When we were in the church, mm. I was taking um, a picture of you. Yep on my iPhone and um, I took two photos and then all of a sudden I had these two ladies sitting behind me anyway all of a sudden my phone started going nuts and it looked like it was taking all these photos by itself it looked like it took over like 10 photos and the women be behind me actually saw it as well and then when I like turned back to look at the photos there was only two, so yeah. that was kind of freaky. Well, I find it quite amazing how, how people who have never done this sort of thing had their own experiences and you know, when you can when you can point to where you feel a spirit is and someone takes a photograph and then there's this orb of light there, um, it really start, you start to think that this is really happening there and people are experiencing these things, so it's an amazing thing to see. Yeah, definitely. And what was the last room that we went into? There was a little boy in there, you said? Yeah, there was a little boy. I believe he died in that room, and it was either diphtheria or some sort of uh, illness like that. Um, and he's quite a shy energy, but, um, you know, he does, he does sort of show himself quite often. But he's a little shy, so it's not always easy to get interaction happening with him. But um, a lot of people feel him in there, and a lot of people get empathetic with him you know they get the symptoms that he had and that type of thing so it's it's interesting yeah well I think with the the size of the cot that they had in the room it looked pretty small so he would have been very young I, I think he would have been about five or six that that cot probably um, is only there for decoration I'm not sure that that was actually in the room I, I, I sort of get the feeling he was in this big bed you know uh, and that that room um, was actually used by um, I believe like the sheriff or the, the local court officer um, at the time and I think he had his family there and I think that's that's where this little boy was. Okay cool so we had some other cool things as well when we were in I was standing actually outside of that room and I got a bit of a cold shiver and then as I was joking to you before I felt the hairs on my legs stand up but I've actually shaved my legs today so I don't really have hair there. I have felt it, my hairs on my legs stand up and then I felt something tap on my shin so I don't know if I was a bit like oh I don't know if this is my imagination or if, if well, it actually happened. I mean let's face it the imagination can run away with you there's no doubt about that but 
obviously until like this things do happen and I think you have to take it at face value from what, what's happening and you know when you when you add it all up the experiences people have the photographs people take and their own personal sort of feelings on the thing something happening something's happening there can I ask you a question so because you get in touch with spirits and ghosts and all those sorts of things how do you shut it out can you shut it out like to have time to yourself yeah, look, I've learned to do that over many years. It's just a matter of closing myself down and not allowing them to talk to me anymore. So I, I basically ignore them, and they know, well, he's not going to talk to us. So you lose, they, they basically leave me alone, and I shut it off. I mean, this sort of work that I do here, ghost tours and things like this, it's a bit of fun, and I enjoy it, and it's just giving people the experience. My work as a medium, however, is, is a bit more intense, and I, I do need to control that a bit more um, because you're dealing with people's grandparents and loved ones. Yeah. Um, and, and so I do have to shut that off when I'm finished, otherwise I'd be exhausted at the end of the day. Yeah, definitely. Thank you so much for letting us come on the tour with you. It's been a fantastic experience. Wonderful. Thank you so much for coming along and being, being such, um, such easy people to get on with. Yeah, fantastic. <laughs>